to my channel. My name is Nairi, also known as Wedding Fashion Expert. Today we are in Lavella Bridal located in Los Angeles, California. We are going to talk about everything you need to know to find your perfect wedding shoe. Before we dive into it, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment below, let me know what you'd like to hear about or see, learn about. I am here for you, guiding you along this journey as you plan your wedding. In a previous video, Debbie left a comment wanting everything wedding advice and timeline as to when to have your shoes ready. It is required to have your shoe at your first alteration appointment. So people get fittings, appointments confused, so I kind of want to go over the terminology a little bit. An alteration, also known as a fitting, is not when you're trying on your dress to pick what dress you're wearing. An alteration slash a fitting is when your gown is being tailored for you. All gowns need alterations. That is a requirement. Every single gown comes in a standard size and length and it needs to be hemmed according to your height and the heel height that you'll be wearing. That being said, alterations are typically done two months before your wedding, so you'll need to have your shoe finalized for that day. If you do not have your shoe, please cancel your appointment. It is total waste of your time and the seamstress's time if you don't have your shoe selected and if it's not available at the appointment. Let's just hypothetically say that perhaps you've ordered your shoe and it hasn't arrived yet. So long as you bring in a shoe that you know is going to be the exact same heel height, that is the most important thing. The heel height is everything. The platform in the front of your shoe is irrelevant. It's really where the heel sits. So that's gonna determine the length and the height of your gown for your wedding day. In regards to changing heel heights throughout the day, highly not recommended when it comes to the hem of your dress. So let's hypothetically say you perhaps want to have beautiful designer heels that you have photographs of, right? Maybe you're lifting up your dress and your photographer gets to capture your beautiful heels, but you're not a heel person and you don't wanna be in heels all day. So that means you're gonna be in flats or maybe like a one inch heel, whatever that is. Your dress needs to be hemmed to the heel height or flat that you are wearing all night long. Okay, so if you would just want photos with a dress, that's photos, but you can't hem a dress to a particular heel height and then go to flats. Because think about it, if you hem your dress to let's say three inch heels and then you go to flats, well your dress is gonna be three inches too long on you. And that brings me to the next topic, is understanding the proper hem length for your dress. When you're trying dresses on, you are typically on a platform trying it on because it's so long on you. So you have pictures of the dress sprawled out on the floor and you're just standing in it. When you hem a dress, it needs to just graze the floor. That means when you walk, right, your foot might peek out of it. So you'll wanna keep in mind that if your shoe shows, you're okay with people seeing your shoe. If you're in a big ball gown, it's likely that your, he your feet won't show when you walk, which is totally cool. But, and I'm going to go put on some dresses in a moment to show you various examples on how they move and what type of shoes I'd recommend based on the style. Some people want their feet to show and some people don't. Keep that in mind when you're purchasing a dress. If you're purchasing a dress that's a sheath or just straight down, when you take a step, when it's hemmed properly to you, your foot's going to peek out. So be mindful of the shoe that you're purchasing and that you're wearing. Another thing I wanna cover is tennis shoes or sneakers of any kind. Be mindful that the rubber on sneakers, because I've had brides come in with a platform sneaker that they want to wear, be mindful that the rubber can grab onto the fabric of the dress. And some brides want their dresses longer than grazing the floor. If you do that, understand that when you walk on carpet, like I'm standing on and I'm going to show you what this looks like, or grass, let's say, the fabric that's laying out on the floor as you walk is going to roll under your foot and you're stepping on that fabric. So these are things that you wanna be mindful of is the texture of material of the shoe. If it's sparkle, you wanna be mindful of prongs catching onto tools and laces. I highly recommend a no prong 
crystal shoe although I did have a bride recently that has prongs on her shoe and she doesn't have tool it had a lining a silk lining so it didn't get caught so you'll want to walk in it to test it before you finalize your shoe I'm gonna go change into some dresses and show you what different shapes look like and how I recommend different style shoes based on your dress I will be right back here's an example of a sheath gown or a column dress if you're curious about Silhouettes for bridal gowns. I have a video on it. Go tune into that video after this one finishes, of course. All right, so here is a dress that is what I was explaining, too long, laying on the ground. This isn't realistic because if I went to go take a step, I'm going to be stepping on the dress. So it needs to be hemmed. It does have a slit. So this would be a, a dress that, honestly, it's a blank canvas. You could do a colored shoe with it, a sparkly shoe with it, a barely there nude shoe with it, kind of like what I have on. But what I wanted to show you is when this is hemmed properly, it will be right just grazing the floor, just like so. And when I go to take a step, because I am wearing a pointed toe, it is going to show far more shoe than if I were to have a rounded close toe or an open toe. But what you wanna be mindful of, me personally, I don't love an open toe because I have big feet and it's a lot of toes that show. Those are the types of things that you wanna consider. What makes you feel beautiful with the feet showing? So this is a perfect example of that and it's something that's not really considered because when you're trying dresses on, you're just standing in it and it's not altered to you. So you don't really consider the movement of how it looks when your feet come out and poke through. I am a huge fan of a barely there shoe, which is nude. It elongates the leg. However, I'm also a Carrie Bradshaw girl with a something blue shoe. It's on the cover of my book. It's a staple. So I, I love color as well. It's really your personal preference if you want to do sparkle. Shoes are just something fun that you get to play with. Or if you're not a shoe person, go based on comfort. Go with a nude wedge. Do what works best for you. But you definitely want to consider that if your feet are showing, what do you want to show? A rounded toe, a pointed toe, or are you okay with a strappy heel where your toes peek through? Next, I'm going to put on an A-line so that you can also see what that looks like when a foot pops out when it's hemmed properly. I'll be right back. Here we are in another silhouette and also a three shoe bouquet. Going for a new look here. Before we go into this shape and shoes, I just quick wanted to cover a few things. If you are getting married in grass or cobblestone road and it's too thin of a heel, you're worried about stability. This is a great option to go with a block heel or even perhaps a wedge. I also highly, highly, highly recommend a backup shoe. Again, be sure to maintain the same heel height and you can change the platform in the front to change the positioning of the ball of your foot so it doesn't get raw and sore. I also wanted to show you a crystal like this with a strap, thin heel. You, this crystal doesn't have any prongs. It's not gonna get caught to anything. Here is another all crystal, no prongs, beautiful shoe option as well, a rounded toe that I had mentioned that's great. So for example, here is a dress that I'm in, a different shape, but look, my feet still pop through when I go to take a step. So you want to be mindful of that when picking your shoe. And if you don't want too much, then don't go with a pointed toe. Again, a pointed toe is always gonna show more. So no matter which way you spin it, unless you're in a really big ball gown that has tons of layers that's far away, or you're in a really big mermaid that has tons of layers, your foot is most likely going to show when you take a step. For more tips and tricks and videos like this, please be sure to tune in to my channel, subscribe, leave a comment, let me know what you think and additional things you wanna hear about. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.